Alright, what's up guys? Just got back from Jurassic World! <laughs> the sequel nobody asked for and looked fucking ridiculous in the trailers and unnecessary and a lot of people bitched about it. Um, well, let's uh, break down and do a little bit of a summary. Uh, mm -hmm. So, the park is back for some ungodly reason. <laughs> I mean, when people die... And, you know, at a fucking park and a disaster they learn happens. From their mistakes. 20 years later, they do not learn from their mistakes and they decide to uh, reopen the park. But this time they got all the rides, everything is good, hunky dory, it's been working. Um, and really, people are becoming bored with dinosaurs, which is bullshit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, people are becoming bored with dinosaurs, so. Corporate, I love this, <laughs> corporate decides that they need a new dinosaur, so they fuck with nature again. They were already fucking with nature. That was the whole moral of the first Jurassic Park, but they fuck with nature again to make a hybrid dinosaur, which is a mix of a bunch of different breeds that we will not spoil for you, and make this super dino, which inevitably gets out of control and the park goes fucking haywire. So, Del, what did you think of the movie? I thought that it was great at some parts, but other parts were just grossly unnecessary. Yeah, it is. Uh, the, the key word that uh, kept popping in my head is it's contrived. Yep. It's so contrived. Oh, I fucking hate it. I fucking hated so many parts in this movie. They yep. rang hollow. There are so many parts that rang hollow. This yeah. is why it is unnecessary. Jurassic World was unnecessary. It is Hollywood excess. It is basically Titanic 2. It's fucking Titanic 2. We brought the ship back. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, let's go crash into another iceberg. There are concepts in the world, Jurassic Park, for example, that just don't need sequels. Uh, thankfully, that's one thing the movie does do. It completely ignores Lost World and Jurassic Park 3, where a T-Rex gets out and attacks San, San Diego. Shit never happened. Never happened. So I like that. Good. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I'll have to watch 2 and 3 to see if they were better than this one. I think maybe this one was, was better than this those two. This one was way yeah. better than 3. At, for sure. Okay, for way sure. better than 3 for sure. Uh, but Steven Spielberg directed the second one. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but like I said, completely unnecessary. Why do you say there were parts in it that, that uh, just... So, there's been this trend yeah. in these movies lately where they feel like they gotta have romance, they oh. gotta have family issues, no matter fucking what type of movie yeah, it is. Like, Poltergeist is a great example. There was family issues in a stupid ghost movie that made no <laughs> sense. And in this one, they're like shoveling, shoving family issues so in. Like, family issues for the for the human characters. Yep. And forced romance again. And forced romance between Chris Pratt and the Claire. Claire, Claire, the head lady of the park, who is the corporate lady and sort of behind creating. Which might the I add, she's a badass. You thought she was a badass. She's kind of who badass. can run with high heels the entire movie <laughs> and exactly. not lose her shoes? She I, didn't lose her shoes. Wow. I thought she was... Wow. She actually kind of... Uh, I didn't really like her character, but for all the characters in this movie, she grew the most. Nobody grew. Nobody changed. Chris Pratt was a badass at the beginning. He was a badass at the end. The The punk kids were punk kids at the beginning. They were punk kids at the end. Uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> punk the kids, yeah. Punk kids. Well, the teenager was a punk kid who went to the who went to the park, and all the teenage teenager that's with his little uh, brother, all he cares about is getting pussy or getting laid at a park when yeah. he's got a girlfriend back at home. What that mean? I'm yeah, like, what what's the going on here? The, he's, he, I mean, this kid, and the reason why I call him a punk kid, Joe, is because I fucking love dinosaurs. This whole movie, this kid's on his goddamn cell phone. That is I'm like, God that's damn it! pretty accurate, though. I was like, what that's the pretty fuck? pretty accurate nowadays. It's, yeah, well, I, I think for dinosaurs, people would... Yeah, would, fucking would, dinosaurs. That whole argument of, oh, oh it's Boring. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. So, but her character Claire actually does change. Yeah. Uh, she seems really, really stiff, really 
uh, corporate. Uh, I wouldn't. She's I wouldn't say stuck up. She's by the book. She's uh, just doesn't care. She's a numbers lady. Yeah, doesn't really numbers, care about the, the dinosaurs. Yeah. It seems. And over the course of the movie, you see her. Wow, these are living beings, and she and she starts to feel sorry for some of the dinosaurs that are dying due to this this mad creation that she's had a hand in creating. So I think her character arc actually worked a little bit. Uh, talk, uh, Joe. What about Chris Pratt in this movie? Chris Pratt, all of these scenes are badass. He had his funny jokes as always. Yep. And really, uh, one of the reasons yeah. to see the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, he was the best character there. Best mm-hmm. actor. What was well, his deal in the movie, though? What was his uh, he role? He was actually uh, hired on. He was an ex Navy. Mm-hmm. He was in the military, and now they hired him on as a raptor trainer. Which yeah. Is weird. Which which confused me a little bit. He was already a raptor trainer on the same island, I think. But just on a different part of the island, yeah, and yeah. and like the 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 dude uh, uh, that owns the park was like, like, bring him over and see if the find holes in our thing. But doesn't he already work for you? I don't I think understand. He worked for how... Ingen. He worked for Ingen, which Ingen. was the military company. That that yeah. part didn't it, really make it, sense. It makes sense. It's, it's like a military uh, scummy corporation on the same island as Jurassic World. And that is a that that's a storyline throughout the movie. He had like a 1960s mobile home on this island somehow. It's like, <laughs> did you notice his yeah, house was like that. a 1960s mobile like, home just on the island? Like, right, I've been then living here. The first home. scene we're introduced to him, he's working on working on the motorcycle, and the chick comes up and she's like, "We need, I need you." And he's like, "Really? You want to go back into my bodega?" You know, I think yeah. it was Josh Josh Sweden who like tweeted out that this scene was sexist or something about like it? really. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Josh. Enough. I think, and I think later on he apologized. Like I must have got mixed up. Or something. Es- he was drunk. Yeah, they that even day. established because it was that they fine. were dating at one point. They yeah, went on a yeah, date. yeah they like, were right after date. that. So they that's why like, you had the the constant tension between the two. They constantly yeah. he's making uh, veiled passes at her. He's like, you know. Dinosaurs, you know, it's all they care about is hunting and eating and, you know, you got to care about one of those things, right? Am I right? I don't know. But uh, he was, he really was the best in the movie. So, um, the, the story of the movie for me was, it's just, it was hard to suspend my disbelief. Yeah. Very, very hard to su- suspend my disbelief. Number one, if you're going to recreate the Jurassic Park, you have to have things in place to make sure that dr- that it doesn't happen again, the disaster. They had maybe less than 20 guys, 20, 20 military guys with non-lethal weapons. And at this point, when the dinosaur escapes, uh, it's not a protocol, let everybody leave the island. It's no, uh, we can contain it. Let's send out non-lethal weapons, even though this animal has shown extreme intelligence. And well, Chris trying, Pratt is on the audience side and says, "Stop." To save it. their investment. That's I know, but that's the Yo, bullshit. They spent twenty-seven million dollars yeah, on that just, dinosaur. That is just gotta, bullshit. More than twenty-seven about, million. You gotta think about it. It's corporate. They're trying to save their it's investment. Corporate. <laughs> no, there are more people than just one. There would be safeguards in place. Anyway, non-lethal weapons, that team goes out there. They get their fucking asses kicked. They're getting murdered one by one. Still no real evacuation is given after yeah. that. It's just... And then and then the owner of the park uh, essentially goes up in a helicopter to, and he's just <laughs> learned how to fly a helicopter. They yeah, have, like, oh. they have a helicopter. I was like, okay, there's gonna, there's a minigun on yeah. there. We're, they're gonna go take care of business. But the one helicopter they have on an island full of dinosaurs is a, is a corporate helicopter. It's not even really military design. Being flown by a first time pilot, it's like really, we don't have more than one gunship on this island with a bunch of dinosaurs that are. Carnivorous, that no, can yeah. kill people. Like, well, oh. no, they they even said like multiple times during the movie, like we have lethal weapons in the armories, but yeah, not never show. Only. Yeah, almost they, barely. They ever never show. grab well, them. They, they, it's towards like every the end, plan was getting worse and worse. It's like, oh, let's do this. Oh no, it's just it just progressively it's worse. Like we're making worse. things worse. <laughs> it breaks my suspension of disbelief because in Jurassic Park, they had them cars 
on rails. So it's like, it gives you the illusion of going anywhere. And they were like, what do we do for Jurassic World? We gotta go bigger and better and more badass. So let's create these little fucking bubbles so we can fucking sell them as toys. These little fucking bubbles where you can see it. And, and, and then people can drive the bubbles themselves. So really, really, the, 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 uh, everybody in this world is so goddamn stupid. Number one, they wouldn't be able to operate the goddamn bubble. They'd be like, nye, nye, and then go wherever, wherever the hell they want. That's so much bullshit. That bubble part in the movie pissed me the no, fuck off. No, I could stand a 50 cal. Jimmy Fallon told me. <laughs> I trust Jimmy yeah, Fallon. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon is, is in this movie and quite possibly the most out of place cameo yeah. I have oh, ever. Yeah. I have ever seen. I saw Jimmy Fallon immediately the, the, the sense of wonderment and exploration that I'm in a park and then dinosaurs are alive and Jimmy Fallon and... Wait, what? You know, it breaks. I, I don't... I know my opinion is in a minority. I've, I've looked online. People are loving the movie. The audience, like an 87 rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The uh, you know critics, something like 71%. So I'm sure the comments are going to fill up with hate, but I did... I. I didn't dislike the movie. I just thought that it was unnecessary and it was barely above average. Barely above average. See, the biggest issue I had with the movie mm -hmm. was that the original Jurassic Parks captivated you. Mm -hmm. It was about that experience of seeing dinosaurs and how big they were and how tiny it made us and how it was just this wonderful experience when you were a kid yeah. that you picked up on and they never brought they that never off. They never did that again. There was never, no sense of awe. There was no sense of awe and it, it just felt like no they were throwing in shit that people would relate with like family issues and drama and family mm -hmm. crap. Well, nobody gives yeah. a shit nobody that the cares. parents of the two boys the are getting divorced. We're there for the dinosaurs. But that was not even... Yeah, it was the it dinosaurs. Was probably like five minutes. The whole thing was five minutes. The parents divorced five minutes. No point. Cut it out. The divorce needs to be, Joe's right. Joe is it, actually, Joe's super right. What we care about in Jurassic World is the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are the heroes. Yep. The they dinosaurs the are the villains. We don't need the divorce storyline. We don't need the forced romance between Pratt's character and Claire. We don't need any of that shit. And and the military corporation, that that angle that, uh, that, uh, that the whole thing is... Well, I'm going to save that for the spoiler section, but we do need that because that sort of drives the story along. Yeah. But but you know what? They didn't have the fucking Nokia ringtone, and I was hoping that... <laughs> <laughs> no, they needed no. that. They no. fucking needed it. it was... My request would be, I want to hear the original song. They did do the original song, but they had to fuck with it. There yeah. was small yeah. variations where I was like... Dan -dan 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 no. <laughs> wait, wait, what? And I was like, come on. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is the actual song, but they just seemed like there were small variations. No, they did variations. Very, it was just, just put variations in. Okay, so one of, the, uh, w one of the scenes in the movie uh, that we've seen in the trailer is Chris Pratt driving his motorcycle with the Raptors, right? And uh, that sort of sold tickets on its own. I thought it was fucking ridiculous, yeah. but like a lot of people were like, oh, I love that part. I love... No, Whatever, Joe. I thought you were the one no, that said, I, said that I can't cheesy. wait. No, 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 no. I don't remember. No, no, no. Somebody no, no. said I, said I can't that wait. That looks cheesy. Come on. Raptor Squad? Oh, it might have been Beard. Raptor Squad. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I, uh, maybe I'm just a critic, but, uh, but what I did appreciate in the movie is that it wasn't as clear cut as he had full control of the raptors. They did show the raptors being aggressive creatures that are just barely in control. Oh, the that, only that's reason. That's also a key word. They use that so many times. Oh, you don't have control. Control. No, we got to get control. You control. have control. You have I have control. I got control. control. I got control. They use that <laughs> word so many yeah, times. I've noticed. <laughs> yeah. And what was I saying? They don't, don't have control. control. Yeah, yeah they, they don't, don't have. They don't have control. I don't have control over you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't make it as obvious as I thought they would that the Raptors would be under control because they're fucking Raptors, and so I appreciated the way the movie treated that, and I bought it. Um, so what I'm trying to say here is that the first act of the movie didn't have the same awe as the original. Uh, it was. It's very hard to expect hard, yeah. the movie to to have that, um, and I'd say that. The second act is where it starts to, to, to fall apart a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's just filled with all these contrivances, cliches, jammed in there for audiences that are unnecessary because you're missing the point of the movie that is happening in the background. Uh, and then finally, the third act is where you're going to get some money's worth. You're, yep. you're going to get some money's worth there. 
because I expected this to turn into a horror movie, as the Jurassic Parks have done. They start with amazement, then they go down into monster horror movie. Yeah. Well, this one did that, but it did it with a lot more action, and it threw something out there I did not expect. It, it had a monster battle. Yeah. It has a battle in it. So we're not going to spoil it for you, but think the end of Godzilla. It, it, it inspires that, that kind of feel towards the end of the movie. So the last 25 to 35 minutes of the movie, I was completely in it. I was like, this may be close to the price of admission, uh, but just all the rest of the stuff to get there was a little, little hard to chew on. So uh, let's make this a short one, and we'll give you our final verdicts right now. And then, uh, if you want to stick around, we're going to do the spoiler section where we can talk about all the dumbest shit in the movie, but we need to be able to, you know, discuss. So if you've seen it before, join us in the spoiler section. Let's start with the uh, um, uh, scores here. So, my summary of it is it's got a lot of good, but there's so many bad spots, like just unnecessary, that there's intermissions. And so with the intermissions and the break of the immersion of being there and, and the dinosaurs and stuff, uh, it, it, it's not going to be the first one. The first one for me was like a nine. Mm -hmm. So this oh, is, yeah, this yeah. is a seven. This is a, this is a pushing it a seven mm -hmm. out of 10. Would you go and pay for it again? Again? No, just mm -hmm. once. Just once. It's one, a, it's one, a one and done. Uh, for me, uh, one of the things I went in, I, I didn't go in with very high expectations. I, I didn't think the idea was necessary. I was coming in negative. Um, it, it held me throughout. It held my interest throughout, but there was plenty of the bad that I thought there was going to be. The, the stereotypes, the cliches, the forced characterizations. Um, and, but I was looking to see... Th this movie needs to have good CGI, uh, and it had great yeah, CGI. It, it starts the scene with a with a dinosaurs cracking out of the egg, and it looks great. Yeah. And but then it just reminded me that wow, Jurassic Park, a movie that is so old, decades yeah. old, it can can is on the same level that this movie is. Now, obviously, the CGI has has gotten yeah, better, but for me to uh, have remembered it as, you know, all oh, the CGI is on par, yeah. that is an amazing achievement. So this CGI doesn't go, you know, too too amazing, but it is enough to, to satisfy me. Um, and so I believed in the dinosaurs, but it was just filmed wrong or the, the, the focus was in the wrong areas or there wasn't enough emphasis on the dinosaurs at the beginning yeah. before it turns into a straight up monster brawl movie. Yeah. Then once it becomes a monster brawl movie, we get focus on dinosaurs a little bit or when they're already dead, we, we focused on, ooh, how sad is it the dinosaurs die? Um, so the fact that it carries the Jurassic World name, the fact that I went to buy it and I gave them my money because it had the Jurassic World, it had a lot to live up to. So if you're going to make money off of your fans, you need to deliver, and I just felt this one didn't deliver. So I'm going to go with a six, and I would say it captures maybe, you know, you know, 33% of yeah. the dinosaur magic I wanted to see yeah. from Jurassic Park. But it made up for that with a monster brawl at the yeah. end. Joe, what are you thinking? I thought it was actually slightly above average. I was going to give it a 6 out of 10. Mm -hmm. They focused too much on the humans aspect. Too many issues on that. I wanted to see more of the dinosaurs, and what brought it up was also the CGI. I like the CGI, and the boss battle was amazing. Yeah. And some of the new dinosaurs, yeah. actually, were we, yeah, we had like two new dinosaurs. I liked it. Yeah, and and we we don't harp, and I'm I I know there's probably some of you out there like oh you're just just like the Godzilla review too much on the humans and stuff. Well, it's not that that it, that we were mad at the focus was on the humans. It's just the humans couldn't hold their end of the bargain. No. Chris Pratt held his end of the bargain. Claire, Larry, eh, Larry was Larry. a badass. Larry, was Larry, Larry uh, the, here's Jack the time. Every time there was a joke cracked, I didn't laugh. I didn't even crack a smile except. For Larry. Larry did maybe one or two really great jokes that it's like, wow, that movie did that, you know? <laughs> it went for a cliche, and then it completely blew up the cliche. And I was like, yes! If there was way more of that, uh, and I, we'll talk about it in the spoiler section, but I know what Joe's talking about. He likes Larry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and when I compare this movie with Godzilla, it's almost in the same genre, yeah. and I enjoyed the characters in this one more than I enjoyed the human characters in Godzilla. 
I, yeah. I liked Chris Pratt. Oh, I liked yeah. Larry. Uh, yeah. But they, but in comparison to good movies or Jurassic Park, where you, where you had the, the the scummy scientist guy Newman, yeah. <laughs> Newman, yeah. Newman, you had Samuel Jackson, you had you know I was no. missing uh, Jeff Goldblum. Oh my God, That's what Jeff I was, was waiting yes. for. Yes. I was actually waiting for. A I was cameo. like, he's gonna be in here. He's I was gonna, gonna expect here. a cameo. Wait for it. Like, Jeff, maybe Jeff's, at the end. Done. Jeff's maybe. done with they, Jurassic they Park. They could have done like a cameo where he's at the park no. and he's just eating ice cream and he just sees it. I looks at it for a go. moment and goes I back to eating go. his ice cream. Like, this shit's happening again. Yeah, so, so, you know, in, in, that, in that sense, it's just, yeah. It's not what we wanted it to be. It's, one of the, It is a blockbuster movie. It feels like one of these summer blockbuster movies. Yeah. And so don't expect too much out of yeah. it. But if you're going for dinosaurs brawling with each other, you're going to be happy. You're going to be entertained. If you're expecting it to be as good as the original or close, just one tick under, you're going to be disappointed. Okay, guys, join us in the spoilers section, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show.